on this holiday weekend. Terry Lacey visited the Dipper in Silverton for her regular chocolate milkshake. You can't have too much ice cream, you can't have too much chocolate. <laughs> but winning a million dollars, is that too much to dream? You can't imagine having that. Still, the former teacher says she jumped on that sweet deal. I registered, I think, the first or second day that it was open. Registered, why? Because I could win a million dollars. So far, Silverton is batting a thousand for Vaximilian winners. 22 year old Abigail Bujenski lives here. The Dipper says she stopped in a few days before she got the call. People were starting to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and message me. And I think that was that was it for me. She's one of more than five million Ohioans who have gotten at least one dose so far. ODH reports a 28 percent increase in COVID vaccine among those 16 and older since the announcement. We got the scoop for what these Silverton locals would do if they got the call this week. I would travel some. I would find some charities that were worthwhile. I'd probably put 700,000 Dogecoin. Would you stay working here? Oh, definitely. Nothing brings me more joy than seeing smile on people's face when I hand them an ice cream cone. Wednesday will be one for the books, not only for two more winners, but Ohio also lifts its health orders. In most places, no more mask mandates, capacity limits, or social distancing required. It will be weird at first just to be that close. It definitely will be nicer, um, you know, when we don't have to wear masks in here just because we can interact a little bit more with our customers. I think it'll be nice to, to be able to feel like you can breathe, the weight lifted off. A taste of normalcy just in time for summer. If you have not signed up yet, grab your phone and use your camera to scan this QR code. It'll take you right where you need to go. Those key indicators, by the way, new cases, hospitalizations, ICU admissions, deaths all down in our state. That's good news. So coming up at six o'clock here from one of the main so-called vaccine hunters right here in Cincinnati, and she reflects on the drawing and what would happen if someone she helped wins the big prize. Meredith Stutz, WLWT News 5.